Hello everybody, it's the 23rd of December. I, uh, I made a little video earlier in the subway, so I'll probably tack that onto the end of this. And I'm just holding this by hand and I'm in Minsk, not in Branovici. So, but I'm uh, gonna be taking one of these vans over here, back to Branovici, if you can see. I wanted the pretty yellow one, but anyway, that's uh, that's how it goes. <clears throat> and um, as far as news is concerned, I'm not going to talk too much about the news. You know, there's a lot of people putting out a lot of real good stuff. I uh, watched the Duran and uh, and uh, who was it? Garland? What? Gar uh, the, the name kind of slips my mind at the moment. Garland Nixon, I believe. And uh, you know, a lot of these people are putting out some good stuff. And uh, some of the most significant things you might hear about, a lot of people are asking what's going to be going on with Poland. And uh, apparently they are starting a draft in Poland. And um, everybody's uh, believing that, uh, that uh, uh, Duda wants to start a war with Russia. And that might be true. I don't know. He says uh, when those pranksters called, he said uh, he doesn't want to start a war. But, you know, politicians, you can't really trust what they say to be true at, at all at any time so uh, he probably does he's been anxious to start a war and um, it's not really that he likes war but I think it's because <clears throat> I think he's got his eyes on the western part of Belarus a lot of people are saying he wants Western Ukraine that's what you hear all over in the news but he might not want to step on his buddy's friend, uh, feet over there you know in Ukraine and a lot of people what they don't talk about is he wants Western Belarus as well He's, uh, he's got a standing you know, order that he's giving out uh, free passports to all Belarusians living in the two states that are neighboring Poland uh, in Brest, which I live in Brest. Uh, this is not Brest right now. This is in the, uh, in the Minsk region at the moment, but I live in Brest, in the Brest region. And then there's the Grodno region. And uh, he wants to uh, annex those into Poland. And at some point in time, they were Poland in the very distant past. Well, here's one of these old electric trains. Of course, this one is all cargo, but it's uh, these have survived from the Soviet Union times. And uh, very powerful trains. A lot of stuff that was made in the Soviet Union is still running. They made things out of iron, so everything was really really sturdy from the Soviet Union but uh, I'm just making this short just to add something in and I'll uh, and uh, you know that's where I'll end and I'll just set, have this put up at some point in time just uh, make sure that I'm keeping bases with everybody out there and uh, you know like I say the better news will be coming later on when I'm uh, um, you know situated here in Minsk the apartment won't be ready till at least uh, February it looks like but anyway, so thanks for joining me and I appreciate all of you and appreciate the nice comments and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.
问父权大。出出边疆年轻的战士，心中怀念遥远的姑娘，勇敢战斗，保卫祖国，卡修爱情永远属于他。勇敢战斗，保卫祖国，卡修爱情永远属于他。<笑><笑>